Tapas time. Now it's not quite Spanish, uh, lovely, delicious Spanish food. But if you're in San Sebastian, feel free to check that out. It's got amazing tapa. But anyway, we're here, decisive decision making. And I learned this one from Tantra, which is a, a spiritual system, not just fancy sex. But that's fun too. So a spiritual tapas. What is it? How can we use it? How's this going to help me? What am I going to learn from this? You know, we always like to learn and share. So, a tapas is essentially a definitive decision that I'm going to do it and I'm going to finish it no matter what. So, feel free to bring to mind a decision or something that you're contemplating that, you know, you, you know you want to get done and you want to feel great and it's going to improve yourself and your development and your path. But you're not quite all the way there yet. Got it? Cool. So, for mine, I had a I had a tapas. This helps me when I'm, you know, umming and ahhing. Hang on, I've got a divine focus. So, for I'll take the example of I was doing a raw food chef training in Bali in Ubud with some beautiful people. I was incredibly fortunate to get into the course because somebody pulled out. At the last minute and I just happened to go hey I'm here can see what we can do uh, the divine decided somehow that a, uh, a, a German girl that was on the course is her passport was finishing in three days so they wouldn't let her out of the country so I'm in yes had the divine focus love the idea two weeks worth of yoga and learning raw food and, and beautiful nutrition techniques and, and helping and sharing that I knew was going to be amazing. But then come in the resistance. Yeah, and that can be all different shapes, sizes and colors. And it can be not fun sometimes, you know, some stuff comes up in the mind and it's just not necessary. But it's how the mind works, right? We're just going to accept that. And so the resistance I had, the day before, my, my left wrist, the outside of my left wrist had like sharp stabbing pain. Like it was, someone got um, like a big knitting needle and went kunk. And I'm like, ah, crap, what's going on here? And I'm like, hang on, I'm feeling tremendous. I've done a month worth of, you know, almost daily yoga. So I was feeling tip top and excited to do it. But my energy body or my mind has decided, hang on, we're going to test him out. This is the resistance test. So I sat in with myself and was, you know, checking in. And what happened here? Oh, ah, that's the brake side of the scooter. So if that gets so sore and if I allow that as an excuse to not go, then I could have backed out and missed out on an amazing experience that was divinely focused for growth. So once I realized that and I went, oh, okay, cool, just accepted and let it go, let it flow through, it disappeared very quickly. It was rather surprising. But the key seemed to be allowing the what ifs, all the other things to just in the mind to go. Check it out, you can have it back divine. We're going to get this done and then we were using mother nature and her beautiful produce and amazing raw organic foods to improve ourselves our diet our nutrition learn a lot that's going to help not only our path but in other people in the future as well so and then once we got that done and you get your certificate or you have your closing circle and you've accomplished what you know has been an expanding experience, even though you've faced that resistance, then how's that feel? Like, it feels magnificent. This is more like this. And then all of a sudden you're loving yourself, but then you're loving the divine and you're loving mother nature as well. And you feel like that big expanded being. And then of course, if we get through this process, as fast as we can when we improve our nervous system and our ability to meditate and just really go within 
ourselves, using the tapas as the divine focus to make sure, hey, I'm getting this done, this is right for me. And focusing on Mother Nature also allows you to be in harmony with the law of polarity. So we've got divine focus in the crown, base getting it done to Mother Nature. So we've got more energy flow in our nervous system. That's inevitably going to happen. And the more that we can just allow that process and of course continue to do it, it becomes easier and easier. And this resistance gets smaller and smaller and then eventually starts to disappear all because we have a divine focus and an accomplishment muscle that mother nature has helped us with how does it feel how are we sitting with that decision now how's the accomplishment muscle 